okay, we're trying something new. I'm going to try and make a video from right here. Okay, so you can see this is number two in your learn book. And make sure that you have page 41, your reference sheet, available. And we're doing 7 fourths cups into fluid ounces. Now notice this is FL ounces, fluid ounces. So if you look in your conversion book, you can see that one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. This is like a liquid, a fluid, right? So here we have our giant tape diagram and we have one cup is broken into eight fluid ounces. But what do we notice that's a little bit different about this problem besides the fluid ounces is that we have seven fourths cups, right? So our answer is gonna be more than one, okay? And we're going to be using our substitution factors. So seven fourths cup times one cup and seven fourths times eight fluid ounces, right? So these two are equal to each other and we are gonna substitute them and that's how we're gonna change it to ounces. So 7 fourths times 8, 7 fourths times 8 over 1, we can do it like that, or we can do it like this, 7 times 8 fourths. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I would rather do 7 times 8 fourths, because I know that 8 divided by 4 is 2, and then I'm just doing 7 times 2, which is 14 fluid ounces. So that means that 7 fourths of a cup is 14 fluid ounces, 8 in one cup, right? So it would make sense that it's going to be more than 8. Make sure that you have this written down because we're going to go ahead and move on to number 3 as soon as I can get it erased. All right. Very good. Okay. Just going to move my slides to number three. And we'll see how this works. This is a new experiment. Here we go. All right, number three, you can see we have the redraw right process. Mr. Sharma spends three eighths of a day at work. He spends the rest of the day at home. How many hours does he spend at home? How many hours does he spend at home? Three eighths of the day is at work. Okay, so could we draw a tape diagram for this? Well, one day has 24 hours, right? So we could draw a tape diagram and call this one day 24 hours. One day. And three eighths. So we're going to break it into eighths because we're talking about three eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines makes eight. And three eighths of the day at work. But the question is asking us how many hours does he spend at home? So the rest of the time, we are assuming he's at home. That's five eighths at home, right? And they're just saying how many hours, right? How many hours? So we need to figure this out by hours. So five eighths times 24 hours. Now, once again, we're going to change it to five times one eighth times 24 so that we can move our 24 over there and multiply by five because 24 divided by eight is three and three times five is 15. So we're saying he spends 15 hours at home. That makes some sense, right? So we're going to write our sentence. He spends 15 hours 
at home. Okay, make sure that you have this all written down in your book. If you didn't write it as fast as I said it, you can certainly pause me and get it written down. I'm just trying to go pretty fast so that this video isn't too long, but you can always pause it if you need to, because we're gonna move on to number four. All right, get this erased. And let's check out number four. There we go, number four, our last question in our last video of lesson five. Ryan is in a two mile race. He jogs one and three tenths miles and walks the rest of the distance. How many yards, how many yards does Ryan walk? So our answer needs to be in yards and we have two miles and we have one and three tenths miles. So let's start by making a tape diagram. Always helpful. And we know it is a total of two miles, right? Okay. And he jogs one and three tenths miles. So let's just put one and three tenths. This is his jogging jogs and then the rest is our question mark right okay so um we can figure it out by subtraction right we can just subtract two minus one and three tenths and it'll tell us how many miles he walks but we still don't know how many yards it is Right? Okay, so two minus one and three tenths. Looks like we have to borrow here. Make this one and ten tenths. Ten minus three is seven, one minus one. So he walks seven tenths miles. Now, how many miles, how, how many yards is seven tenths? So seven tenths times one mile right because we're going to substitute and then we're going to substitute the number of yards in a mile do we know how many yards are in a mile let's check our reference on page 41 okay one mile is 1760 yards okay so we have them both written out so we can see that these two are equal to each other and now we just need to multiply. Let's see if we can do our seven times one tenth, right? We're breaking our seven tenths into seven and one tenths times 1,760. Let's try 1,760 divided by 10 because we can do that easily times seven. So take out a zero, take out a zero, that will be seven times 176 is going to be the total number of yards. 176 times seven, six times seven is 42. Seven times seven is 49 plus four is 53. Seven plus five is 12. So that would be 1,232 yards. And we're going to write a sentence. He walks. 1,232 yards, okay? Now that is a lot of writing and I did it pretty fast, but make sure that you have this all written down in your book for number four. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Aloha.